Most of us have heard about gum disease and many of us would feel that we are immune to getting gum disease because we brush and floss daily. We might also think that we don't have to worry about gum disease because we don't have any cavities. Well, I have some bad news for you. This is a totally different disease that is caused by different microbes. In many people, gum disease can form even with good oral hygiene. And in fact, based on population studies, one out of two people in this room would go on to develop gum disease at some point in life. Gum disease starts almost undetected. It doesn't hurt. And over time, it leads to bleeding gums. And when the bone surrounding our teeth starts to erode away, our teeth get loose and will ultimately fall out without treatment. Once we develop severe gum disease, it can't be cured, only controlled. And the reason this is so, because we still don't understand why some people get it and others don't. Most of us know that the bacteria live in our mouths, which is the reason why we brush our teeth every day. But there is one kind of bacteria that sticks to our teeth and grows down into the gums. As it grows, it releases chemicals that degrade the protein fibers that keep our teeth attached to the bone. Normally, when bacteria invade tissues like this, our immune system recognizes the invaders and kills them. The invaders get recognized by a special white blood cell called dendritic cell, which takes up the bacteria and alerts the immune system to danger so that our immune system can mount an attack. And fortunately, this doesn't happen properly for gum bacteria, and we still don't understand why. So in my experiments, I took normal donor blood and isolated the dendritic cells and cultured them in test tubes with lab-grown bacteria and looked at the proteins inside the dendritic cells so that we can identify the differences induced by the bacteria. Surprisingly, we found lots and lots of differences, but one in particular that stood out. It's called AKT. By activating AKT, this gum bacteria stops the dendritic cells from generating the danger signal needed to activate our immune system. I believe that my research will not only provide better understanding on how this gum bacteria stops the danger signal or blocks the danger signal, but also help future research to look for how to interfere with the signaling pathways activated by the bacteria and ultimately to stop the disease in the future. Thank you.